Hello, boys and girls. It's Auntie Jill coming to you from her porch neighborhood this week. It was so much fun to be in the choir room last week, wasn't it? And meeting Uncle Ben and learning about the piano that he's refurbishing. But this week, we're back on the porch, and I thought it was about time for us to learn a new song together. And last week, in my hymn segment, I featured probably the most beloved children's hymn on the planet, and that is Jesus Loves Me. I hope some of your parents shared that with you because I did it in honor of all the children and the teachers who have gone back to school or will be going back to school this fall. But interestingly, that piece, the words of that piece, were written by a woman named Anna Warner, who lived in New York City back in the early 1800s. And she had a sister whose name was Susan. And Susan also wrote the words to another wonderful children's hymn called Jesus Bids Us Shine. Do any of you know that? Do any of you remember that? That song, Jesus Bids Us Shine with a clear, pure light, like a little candle burning in the night. In this world of darkness, we must shine, you in your small corner and I in mine. Do any of you remember that? I bet there are some adult children out there who remember that. Well, it is, if you don't know it, it's a wonderful song. And the cool thing is that it comes with hand motions. So I thought, what a great thing to do this week to get us happy and singing again. And also, just for you to know, Jesus Loves Me was written by Anna Warner, but the music was written by a man named William Bradbury. Well, for this song that Susan Warner wrote the words to Jesus Bids Us Shine, interestingly, the music was written by a man whose name is a wild name, Edwin Otello Excel. <laughs> Can you believe that? Edwin Otello Excel. What a name, right? And he is also remembered for writing the music for another wonderful hymn that I'm going to be featuring in the next few weeks called Count Your Blessings. Count your blessings, name them one by one. Count your many blessings, see what God has done. Remember that one? Well, he also wrote the music for that song. And he seems to have been a guy that wrote joyful music, too, as you'll see in this next song. This song, Jesus Bids Us Shine, was first published in a children's magazine back in 1968 called The Little Corporal. So this song is, wow, it's been around a long time, right? But let's learn this together today, okay? Because we're going to be doing this soon, all of us together, at Drive Up Worship. This is going to be great. We'll have our kazoos and we'll have our flags. It'll be a wonderful time together. So here we go. So let me teach you the hand motions first because some of these hand motions repeat. So Jesus, this hand motion, represents the nails that were in Jesus' hands, right, when he hung on the cross and died for us. So Jesus bids us shine with a clear, pure light. Like a little candle, here's our candle, burning in the night. In this world of darkness, darkness, we can't see, right? But what? We must shine. So in this world of darkness, we must shine. You in your small corner and I in mine. So practice that with me again, and we'll do it with the music. Jesus bids us shine with a clear, pure light, like a little candle burning in the night. In this world of darkness, we must shine, you in your small corner and I in mine. Okay? So let's try that much. Here's my handy-dandy little iPad. 
Here we go. Ready? Here we go. Jesus bids us shine with a clear, pure light, like a little candle burning in the night. In this world of darkness, we must shine. You in your small corner and I in mine. Very good. Did you get that? Let's do that again. Jesus bids us shine with a clear, pure light. Like a little candle burning in the night. In this world of darkness we must shine. You in your small corner and I in mine. Right? Good! So now there are three other verses. And let me just go over those with you. So Jesus, Jesus bids us shine first of all for him. Because he lives in heaven, right? Well, he sees and knows it if our lights are dim. So our candle goes out. So Jesus bids us shine first of all for him. While he sees and knows it if our light is dim. He looks down from heaven. See, he's a shine. Now you know, you in your small corner and I in mine. All that makes sense, doesn't it? Right? Then Jesus bids us shine, then for all around, many kinds of darkness in this world abound. Sin and want and sorrow. So that's like tears, tough times. Sin and want and sorrow, we he must shine. You in your small corner and I in mine. And then the last verse. Jesus bids us shine as we work for him. Bringing those who wander from the paths of sin. He will ever help us if we he shine. You in your small corner and I in mine. Cool? Try it. Much of this you're going to get, but then you can keep watching this with me and learn them. So let's go back and start at the beginning. Here we go. It's so wonderful to be together. Sing with me. Here we go. Jesus bids us shine with a clear, pure light. Like a little candle burning in the night In this world of darkness we must shine You in your small corner and I in mine Jesus bids us shine first of all for him While he sees and knows it, if our light is dim He looks down from heaven, see he's a shine you in your small corner and I in mine. Jesus bids us shine, then for all around. Many kinds of darkness in the world abound. Sin and want and sorrow, we must shine. You in your small corner and I in mine. Jesus bids us shine as we work for him. Bringing those who wander from the paths of sin. He will ever help us if we shine. You in your small corner and I in mine. Yes! So we must shine. We must shine. And that's what, that's the message, the song, the message, the emotions, the fun, the joy that comes from doing this with you. That's what I want you to take with you this week. And yesterday in Drive Up Worship, Pastor Elizabeth reminded us of something so important that I wanted to share with you today too. And that is that as we go about whatever kind of school we're doing, we must always remember to be kind. And she published in our little online bulletin 
this list of 101 random acts of kindness. And it's so beautiful. Some of those that she shared was um, foster an animal. Like I look at Bear and Frida and the joy that they bring Uncle Jake and me is so wonderful. I'm so glad that we adopted them. Share, show a new kid around school. So you know what that might mean. That might, if you're at Carlisle, maybe you're making a new friend if you're in school together. And so you want to be able, for those that are returning to Carlisle, maybe you want to be able to help someone that's brand new in that school this year to make them feel at home and loved and welcome. Another one, bake cookies for a neighbor. Walk a neighbor's dog. Lend someone one of your favorite books or movies. Right? Send a favorite CD to a friend. Plan a surprise birthday party for someone. Weed an elderly neighbor's yard. You know, so there are 101 of these, and I think that they need to be shared with all of you, for with everyone who didn't get to come to our drive-up worship, because I think it's so important. And just like this song teaches us, when we do these random acts of kindness, we shine. We are God's light in the world. And kids, you all have some of the brightest lights on the planet right now. And no matter how old you are, what family you come from, if you're rich or poor, if you live on the south side or the north side in the country or in the city, it doesn't matter. We are all God's children and we got to shine our lights right now. Because then when we get to the other side of these Corona days and we can get back to doing all these activities like singing together, we want to have fed our lights. We want to have reminded ourselves about being lights because that's what Jesus would want us to do. Jesus' love and his concern for other people live in us. And we need to share that with one another. We need to be lights. So in this week, as you all start go back to school and you start back to school and you're getting into your routines with your families, remember, Jesus bids a shine. And be that little candle burning in the night. Because you in your small corner and I in mine, if we shine our lights, we can make a difference. Never forget that. So I miss you and I love you. And I can't wait to see you again. So please know I am praying for you. And I want you to join me in our final prayer today. May the Lord watch between me and thee while we are absent one from the other. Take care of one another, love one another, and I'll see you again really soon.